everybody a very warm welcome if you've just arrived or just come on. I'm not sure actually, we have got any new people. Um, I've just switched on the recording, so we are recording this session. So if you're uh, not really happy with that, then could I ask you to leave please? Uh, but you'll be able to watch the recording later. Um, today we've got uh, Paul, uh, Paul who's just run away, and Edmund, who are both based in, in Japan. Um, uh, and are working on um, sloodles. Now, this is—I I never knew what this was, but basically, uh, my understanding, anyway, is if, if you know what Moodle is and if you know what virtual worlds are, sloodle is where the two worlds come together. And I think that's what uh, Edmund and Fire are going to be talking about. Uh, they're programmers, and they—they they work on this um, in, in in Japan at the moment. Um, okay, so over to you guys. Okay, sure. Sh um, sh shall I start off? Um, we're going to talk about. Um, oh, are we going to introduce ourselves, or was that enough introduction? Okay, this help. This any Sloodle and Avatar Classroom. Um, like you just heard, Sloodle is a bit of software that connects Moodle with the virtual world, um, with Second Life, or with OpenSim. Um, and Avatar Classroom, which we'll get to later, is a hosted uh, classroom that um, called Sloodle Developers, myself and Firebuilt, um, based on those Sloodle tools. Um, so I, I guess everybody knows about virtual worlds, and if you didn't, you, you just heard Shiv, so that's all good. Um, have, how many people here have used Moodle? Can anyone, anyone not use Moodle? Okay. Um, have you have you heard of it, Bunny? Yeah. So and um, so it's a, it's a free open source learning management system um, built by a guy called uh, Martin Dagiamas in Australia. Um, oh, Fire, can you uh, advance the slide there? I don't know if I can do this. There we go. Yeah. OK. Um, so it's pretty big. Um, they've got something like 66,000 registered sites, um, getting on to 60 million registered users on various sites around the world. So it's you know the size of a medium-sized country. Um, and that's just, uh, just people who have actually registered with Moodle. There'll be a bunch more who didn't, didn't bother to register. Um, you, yep. You, um, so it's it's web-based software. You can install it yourself if you want to, if you run your own server, or you can use a, a hosted provider um, that'll do it for you. And primarily, the students and the teachers access it with their web browsers. Um, and it's also modular, and that means that any programmer can come up with their own functionality um, and add that to Moodle. And people can then install those modules on their own Moodle sites and make it do all kinds of things that it didn't originally do. Um, so, Fire, do you want to do the next slide? Um, now, I, I don't know how.